opportunity to grime and Pink then Fox. lock in Fox after with like no consequences because you technically have to ask to double blind first. Right, 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 right. And sure. um, he didn't. He went Marth. It tells me that he, like, he's really committed to Marth this turn. Yeah. That's good. I thought yeah. I was I was pretty sure he was playing Fox. I have no idea though. Yeah. So, uh, what we see from Scoot is Scoot's, uh, Scoot really loves his nares. Yes. Uh, super, super loves his nares. Uh, and then he doesn't doesn't really go off stage to edge guard. He's more of like do that kind of thing or sit right. here and f tilt you and stuff. Okay, um, interesting. Um, and then I don't know about stiff. All I know is about, all I know is that he's gonna go for the stiff tip. Yes. So we'll, we'll look out for that one. Well, we've already seen our friend Scoot overshooting a lot of aerials right now. Yeah. And just kind of like not respecting um, stiff's ability to like run up and down to run up aerial. Yeah. And uh, it's basically just yeah. overshooting aerials versus dashing back right now. Stiff adapts and gets a quick hit, gets the kill. Yep. I think overshooting is definitely superior for Smarth. I feel like Barth wants to keep his opponents kind of like right in front of him. Yeah. But like, yeah, in general, like if you if you if he only does that, then Stiff's gonna catch on. Yes. Oh. Yeah, Stiff's starting to use more aerials in neutral yeah. to kind of beat that dash up overshoot. I really like the down out of shield if you can like L cancel it and like do the proper thing out of it. Like yeah. some some people just kind of do it, you know, just because like the only thing that'll hit. But nice. I like when the thing use well. That was really smart. Yeah. To still do the Marth Killer, even though he got like hit with not the FB. I didn't even realize uh, that was uh, an option. Yeah, um, you can still do that. And the interesting thing is that, like, because he didn't Invincibility Refresh, I think Stiff could have side beat again and then up beat later, and he would have right. run out of Invincibility. Yeah. But uh, he chose to just, like, take the risk and up beat on stage, which I think yeah. is fine. Wow, that was a really, really fast Marth Killer. Yeah, this is the, the struggle of this <laughs> matchup. Yeah. You just kind of like, once you get hit off stage, you have to have a really good DI and you need to never get grabbed or stomped. I feel like Falcon's roll is kind of fast too, like, in, in general. Like, I don't, I don't actually know, I don't actually know, but like. Yeah. But I feel like he, like, he can set up for it very well regardless. Like, he can, he can get there to get, get, to get it set up regardless. Yeah, and even, he doesn't even really have to be doing the Marth Killer. Yeah. It's cool that he is, because yeah. I, I like that people abuse Marth like that. Yeah. But, um. He could really just be double jumping up and down on the ledge because it's invincible. It's unfortunate. And yeah. then reverse kneeing. But what yeah. he's doing is still fine. Like this is what struggles the struggle is about Mark. It's, it looks like Stiff has no idea no idea how to like deal with it like like someone who does it like every single stop, right? Like, yeah. It looks like he doesn't really know. He know, he probably knows what to do in theory, but he's not used to dealing with it every single second yeah. of the game, right? I, yeah, I haven't seen an air dodge yet. That's usually like the typical option. Yeah. Is at least they can react to it, but it starts the next level of the mix up. So yeah. That was a really good shield drop if he had, if he had actually turned around and grabbed, uh, but unfortunately he didn't get it. That pivot was actually amazing. Yeah. He was just a little bit too slow to get the follow-up. Yep. All right, this should be it. Yeah, we're killer. Oh, no, oh, he left yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, a little bit of a slow reaction from Scoot. No worries. It's fair. This could be a stock if Stiff plays it well. Nice Nair. Nair a little bit risky, though. Like, he doesn't even really have to smash GI out at that percent. Lazy, lazy, though. He should be. Yeah. Uh, this should be a... Oh man, gets baited. The real, the one thing that he should be doing, yeah. um, if he goes back and watch this, is um, what someone like Dart will do is they'll go up really high with them and yep. back air, yeah. and it turns you around. Oh, so that yeah, if yeah. they go like down low, you can just fare them. That's actually awesome. So like you hit I them coming in, and if they fade back, you just kind of follow them and fare, and then you up be back to ledge. Yo, what's up, Sawyer? Thank you. What's up? Welcome, dude. I think Dart's like by far and away like one of the, like the best Marth at the yeah. Falcon matchup. Well, he what, dude? Did you see Pew Pew at Summit? Oh, uh, no, he I was, didn't. He was nutty versus... He just 3-0'd SJ like it was nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess like, you're right. Before and, that, though, like, uh, Dart was one who was, like, 3-0'ing Wizzy and stuff like that. And, like, yeah. So. Um, I definitely think that uh, the thing that... Um, well, it's, it's, we'll talk about it at the next. It's yeah. not really important. The switch to Fox has happened. This is kind of what we expected to see. Yeah. Uh, FOD making a lot, makes a lot of sense, too. Uh, yes. I don't think a, a stiff a FD, for example, would have been a good idea for Stiff's Fox in this matchup. I feel like... Uh, he can overtake him by scoot spacing. So right. the, the, the platforms are going to help him a lot here. Gotcha. I also think that um, this stage is like very good for Fox, but you have to know how to play it. You don't yeah, want to get caught in awkward situations. This is a free kill. Uh, he he could have just waited for him to land because scoot, scoot committed to like the stage. Yeah, it's still like it's, it's still, still free. It's, it's still free. Yeah. Falcon's recovery. Um, I also like that he went up for the back air. That's something that most people don't do. Yeah. But like you could react to Falcon up being. Oh, nice. Wow. Covers miss tech every Falcon ever. Yes. Uh, not bad. I think Stiff honestly got tech trapped by that super late up air. Yeah, I just so wasn't too. ready for it. Yeah, I think he. I think he was. I think he either tried to tech, like assume to get hit earlier, just wasn't ready to like get hit so late. Stiff trying to like bait out a spot dodge or a roll. Yeah. Our CMPL Falcon just hits the Z button. Hits the Z button <laughs> and just grabs him. That's actually a really cool thing to to do. Like if you can if you can smash GI like Fox's shot and like you don't you don't think they can do the run right to get yes. the move shot you can just like pull down Z. Uh, Stiff tries to be super pro and tech on the platform and yeah. dodges off the stage. Yeah, the unfortunate. Yeah, not really necessary either. No, no, it's just, it's just like it's just movement related. He just wanted to do it for some reason and it didn't work out. Yeah. Uh, all right, regrabs. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. He, doesn't, he doesn't do those, so... He, he, him and Hunt both go for, like, one, and then they will, they'll try to get the combo extender. Yeah, that makes this a really, like, good stage, because it's hard to follow up when the platform's at that height. Yeah. When it's a little bit higher, you can stomp through the platform a couple uh -huh. more flow options, but at that height, you kind of just get cut off. Oh, nice down tilt. I like the mix-up where he went forward throw, because Stiff was holding out to, yes. for the down throw. Sick. Not too bad. All right, even stocks. Yep. Falcon's, Falcon's fragile enough that, like, uh, Stiff could bring this back real quick. But, uh, yeah. uh, unfortunate. Short hops instead of full hops. I really like that our um, Falcon friend is prioritizing center stage a lot. Yeah. Whereas oh. Stiff is kind of, like, overshooting a lot and going that was an to accident. trying to get a lot of hits. Um, yeah. Scoot is just kind of sitting in center and holding his lead. And right. it's making him live a lot longer because the shines Stiff's getting are just kind of, like, hitting him back to center and not doing that much. Yeah, he's not getting follow-ups off his shines at all. I, like, I love the face you saw from Scoot when he got that up smash. <laughs> like, just like, ugh. Yeah. Whatever it works. Getting up smashed by Fox hurts, especially when you don't get the eye. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. 2-0. It. Good stuff to Scoot. Yeah. Not bad. I expect him to do okay, maybe 14 this pool. So we'll yeah, well, I mean, that's the type of match that, like, gets you out of pools. 